Hi guys and welcome to Strength Universe. Before we get into the video I'd like to say thank you to Cheyenne for keeping me up to date with the goings on at the 7th World Draw Powerlifting Federation World Championships that were held last weekend from the 16th to the 19th of December. But unlike other powerlifting federations, the events were very diversified and featured powerlifting, streetlifting, arm wrestling, drifting and the most beautiful buttocks in Russia. But of course you aren't interested in that. What you're interested in is the max deadlift competition, which rather unusually was held under strongman rules, allowing the use of straps, deadlift suits and hitching. Two strongman competitors attended the event at rather short notice and with some confusion concerning the rules. These were Ivan Makarov, who at the time had the third highest competition deadlift in history, at 475 kilograms, that he achieved at the 2021 Giants Live World Deadlift Championships, and his main rival was the two times World's Strongest Man qualifier and Iranian deadlift record holder, Payman Mahari Pohir. We join the competition as Ivan Makarov grinds out 455 kilograms or 1,003 pounds. Heyman then moved proceedings up to 460 kilograms or 1,014 pounds and frankly made it look like a warm-up. He then increased the weight to 477.5 kilograms or 1,053 pounds, which I expect had been driven by seeing Ivan struggle with the much lower weight and thinking that he could take the win and the third highest deadlift in history. Ivan then took a huge gamble by coming to 480 kilograms or 1,058 pounds and show tremendous determination to be awarded a lift by two out of three judges, to the disbelief of Payman and many others. Payman then found himself having to pull a lift that he didn't think he'd need with 481 kilograms or 1,060 pounds, which he duly achieved to retake the top spot and the third highest competition deadlift in history. While I thought this was an interesting competition, and it was great to see the steps that the WRPF are taking to increase the popularity of strength-based sports, there was undoubtedly some very dubious judging decisions, which is surprising given the reputation of the World Draw Powerlifting Federation. But I'd be interested to hear your opinions, so please leave a comment below letting me know what you thought of the competition and the judging, but in doing so, please remain respectful to the athletes. I've left credits and the athletes' social media links in the description below, so please check those out and give them a follow. And finally, if you enjoyed the video, please help support my channel by clicking like, sharing the video, and if you haven't done so already, subscribing. Thank you.